Woody, I definitely have to ask you an individual question. Um, you are going to be joining the SNL Five Timers Club uh, with your upcoming uh, hosting gig. Uh, what does it actually mean to you to join the exclusive club? It means one more than it did last time. <laughs> no, no, it's really, it's very exciting. I gotta say, I, I'm trying not to think about it because I'm so, I get nervous because yeah. it's live. I just get nervous about it and particularly the monologue. So, uh, so far, all all it means is nerves. But, uh, but the, at the end of the night, Saturday night, the 25th, I think it's gonna mean some happiness. It's gonna be exciting. Yeah. Are you going to be there? I'm proud of you. No, no, I would not. Okay, come on over. You know what? Oh, thank you. I, 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 no. <laughs> I had something to say, and it's better if I don't. <laughs> Is this thing on? I love it that she's censoring herself. I've never <laughs> seen this help. This is incredible. It was, yeah. If you heard what she said the last interview, but never mind about that. Let's go on. I was just going to say that I really sincerely thought the two of you were fantastic together and i i knew i was in for a good ride because the opening scene alone uh the banter between the two of you in the bedroom and leaving i'm like oh they're very good together um so can you sort of talk about did you like when did you realize you guys were going to be really good together i intimidated him right away so i felt like this is going to be a home run <laughs> she uh, did. and then i just it kept, was daunting yeah belittling him throughout the <laughs> shoot and that made me feel better about myself and then i feel like that came across on screen but in fact you know the very first scene we shot together was a kind of intense emotional scene of which you know there's there's a few in the movie but uh, or at least a couple and uh, and she just brought her A game, and I was like, oh boy, I gotta step up here. <laughs> she's such a great actress, Aww. and uh, she's so not just a great actress and emotionally available, but like, and then when you're in the the fun funny scenes like this, that first scene, it just uh, it, you know, it, no one delivers better than her. <clears throat> I mean, other than me. <laughs> But I probably shouldn't have said that. It was uh, it was very fun making him laugh, and the, he, he just it's a he's a perfect scene partner. We just I think we had we actually were having fun together, which I think is always helpful. I love learning about the behind the scenes of the making of a film, um, and I'm curious for both of you, what do you think soon to be fans of the film would uh, be surprised to learn about the making of Champions? You said several times today it felt like we were on a playground every day, and it's so true. We just yeah. showed up. I mean. We had so much fun, not just making it, but every time we cut, we were on a basketball court. We had all these amazing new friends that we were hanging out with who wanted to know all about us and wanted we wanted to know all about them. And we just were legitimately having a good time. It also really helps to be shooting a movie away from your hometown. We were in Winnipeg. I wasn't rushing home to make dinner for my kids. We got to just like live there and relax and just be together and spend time together. Madison, who plays Cosentino, had a birthday and she had the birthday party of the century in a hotel room in Winnipeg. We had so much fun. It was a huge dance party. We just legitimately had such a fun time. Steve, I want you to come by the woods and uh, hang out with me and let's fire up a hooter. Sir, just send me the info and I will be there. Okay, today, tomorrow, and next. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, congrats, and uh, have a, really have a good day. Thank you. All right, see ya.